This tutorial is sponsored by Are You Dating Sim? Because I made it. And a little fun fact about this game I made, it has cheat codes. And so if you want to learn how to put cheat codes in your game, because um, I had a bit of a time trying to figure out how to do it, uh, I had to really scourge the forms and I couldn't find any really good references on how to do exactly what I did, so I figured I might as well make a tutorial video on it. Um, so if you hit a new game, it'll prompt you, like so, and it'll ask you if you want to enter a cheat code. And if you hit no, you know, the game continues on forward, but if you hit yes, it takes you over here, and it gives you the opportunity to enter a cheat. Um... And it allows you to type anything you want to in here, like blah, 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 something like that. Um, <clears throat> and you could hit enter to confirm whatever you've typed in there. Um, you could also, of course, like backspace. Usually what this feature is used for is it's, it's used primarily for like entering your name, like say if you had a visual novel where you wanted the player to input their, their own name and then it would be constantly referenced throughout the game um, by that name. That's usually what this is used for, but I'm using it for cheats. So if you want to see how to accomplish this, um, where's the script? Ah, right here. Um, so I created a brand new game uh, right here called Tut Tut. Um, and this is what basically a new game looks like script wise when you uh, just started it, when you just start a brand new one. I'll give you a good old Eileen here, or Ellen, however you pronounce her name. Probably butchered that, but anyway. <clears throat> so, this is how you do it. So, label start. This is right where the game starts. So, uh, from the main menu, when you uh, tell it to start a new game, uh, this is right where it's going to take you. It's going to take you from this spot, or it's going to take you from the main menu to this little spot right here. So, as you can see, I got this menu action going where, you know, it does just like I show you. It asks you um, if you would like to enter a cheat code or not. And it has these little commands down here that uh, tell you to jump to different labels. Um, which is what label, just like label start up here. You can create a bunch of labels in your RenPy game, which basically just kind of make it to where you can jump around if you need to. I mean, that's what I usually use labels for, um, is just to jump around to different points inside the game. Um, like for example, if you click yes, it says jump cheats. And what that'll do is it'll take you to this label right here, cheats. Actually, I should, uh, yeah, that should probably be back there. Um, <clears throat> it'll take you over here. And as you see, it has a little, uh, has a little, uh, dollar sign, cheats, ren p input, ren pi input. Um, that's the feature that basically lets you type whatever you want to into the game. And you can have some text here uh, if you want to, I, I don't know, give the player a hint or uh, do whatever. I just mentioned that my cheats are in all caps and contain no spaces. And uh, you can put an if statement in here and uh, type a cheat in that you want to create. So I'm just going to create a cheat. I'm going to put it in all caps. Uh, let's see. Butts are cool. Okay, that'll be our cheat. Um, and what we can do then is, of course, you know, give that a command. Um, like to have it jump to another label, like, let's see. I'm going to create another label just to test this out. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll just create a label called butt. And so at a later point in this game, let's see. Let me just put a little content in here real quick. So. 
Okay, so I put a little content in the game here where Eileen says, I sure do like butts! Exclamation point. Imagine life without them. That sure would suck. Dot, dot, dot. Um, <clears throat> so what we could do, since I told it to jump to a uh, label called butts up here, what we could do is we could, we could create a label up here uh, but oh I think yeah colon right right yeah that looks about right to me um, so if I were to put in the cheat into the cheat butts are cool like so uh, it should jump right over here right over here to this content here. You should be able to skip all this crap. In fact, there. <laughs> now it's written. <laughs> so you should be able to skip all this crap and just go over here because we created the label. So, where I'm, what I'm going to do is. Arya can go away now. I've had enough of her. Uh, here, let me launch project real quick and see if this works or if I screwed something up and it goes wrong and blows the whole universe up, which I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. Hey, it didn't crash. Okay. So if we start it up, enter cheat code, we hit no. Yeah, it'll start just like normal. You've created a new Renpy game. You should be able to skip all this crap. Once you add a story, pictures, and music, you can release it to the world. Sure do like butts. Imagine life without them. That would suck. Sad face. Okay. Uh, so if we go back to the main menu, like so. Start up another game. We'll enter cheat codes. Uh, what was it that I put in? Oh, butts are cool, in all caps. Uh, so if I hit enter, we should be able to skip all that crap. I sure do like butts. Imagine life without them. That would suck. Now see, uh, since I skipped ahead in the code a bit, um, yeah, since I skipped ahead in the code a bit, uh, notice Eileen in the background didn't load in. So, a way you could alleviate that is um, right here in the cheat blah, blah, right here in the cheat code. Um, you could put in uh, yeah, show Eileen happy. You could put that in there like so. You could like enter the. Uh, uh, stuff that you need if uh, need be seen. We're going to add that. There we go. Now that should alleviate that problem. Uh, I just I just uh, realized that little error of mine. Okay, so here, let's close this out. Let's try it again. Uh, All right, let's see if this works. There we go. Yep, that solves the problem. Okay, we are in business. Um, Let's see, is there anything else I should go over? Uh, uh, one thing though, okay, yeah, I should mention this too. Um, at the very end of all the cheats that you've entered, you should also make sure that uh, uh, jump cheats is down here. So if you enter something that isn't a cheat, um, it'll keep It'll, it'll basically kind of freeze it in place where it'll bring you right back from the start where you could enter it again. Like so. Wait. 
Here, let me show you what I mean. Let me show you. I will show you everything. Uh, yes. So, of course, if I type in something like this that isn't a cheat and hit enter, you know, it'll, uh, it'll basically reload blank like so. And you could try it again as much as you want to. Forever and ever and ever and ever. But if you don't have, if you don't, uh, if you don't have that in there, let me just sh see. I forgot. I think it progresses if you don't have that in there. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. I know something goes haywire, and there, there was a specific reason why I put that in there. Let me just see. Uh, yes. If I put enter something wrong, hit enter. Yeah, see, it carries on. All right. Um, yeah, that's about it. It really is about that simple. I basically just put labels where I see fit. Like if there's a point in the game where I want to uh, have a certain cheat take you, I basically just do that. Just create a label, like label butt here, our good friend label butt, and uh, just tell it to jump to butt. Tell it to jump to the label if you enter the cheat incorrectly. Yeah, I guess that's it. Bye.